Uh, my name is Joshua, so I'm the co-founder and CEO for HeyGen. So today, I'm going to talk about how we're actually building up the generative experience at HeyGen. So a little bit about myself. I work at Snapchat from 2014 to 2020. I was working on all kinds of AI system there. We found HeyGen two and a half years ago, and our mission is to replace camera for content creation. So first of all, I would like to show you a video and explain how we actually do it. Hey everyone, HeyGen is revolutionizing the way we create videos. In the past decade, mobile cameras have enabled millions of people to create content, like Snapchat, Instagram, and TikTok. However, what if AI could generate video? We've created AI technology at HeyGen to replace the camera layer, unlocking 100x more creativity. This video was 100% generated with AI, with my avatar and voice clone, without the camera. Yeah. You see that? And the entire video is generated with AI. So um, today, in the first half of the session, I'm going to walk you through what, how we actually do it behind the scene. So um, first of all, I would like to talk about what does replacing camera even mean? You know, so the way we actually look at a video content, there were really like two pieces. A role for the spokesperson in front of the camera, the actor, and the B role, which is the all kinds of elements such as, you know, image and video background, music and voiceover. So let's come back to the A role. And this is me standing in front of camera, collecting data to actually change my AI avatar models. So in order to get my avatar, we need to collect about two minutes of talking style videos of me speaking anything in any languages. So we kind of use a professional camera here to create that bokeh effect, but you can also feel free to use a mobile camera to do it. And once the avatar is ready, it will show up into the HeyGen product. If you look at the product screenshot here, so I'm standing in, in the center of the camera, and all we need to do is actually type in the script and then click the submit button and the video will be generated shortly. And if you have your own avatar, you can do the same thing. And as well as for the B-roll, you know, if you look at the timeline over here, there's a lot of elements. There are asset, background, both images and, back and video, and copywriting for script, as well as music and voiceover. There are really tons of technology advancement in the past six to 12 months, you know, being able to generate different assets. And this is what we think the generative video stack look like today. You know, we have ChatGPT for copywriting and script. We have both HeyGen and Synthesia can create a high fidelity and high quality avatar videos. And we have a couple of players in the voice technology and we have stable diffusion Mid-journey and run rate generating the asset, and last, music and caption. So, and what we are doing at HeyGen today is actually that first of all, we can build the entire A roll videos that I just presented, and second, we are integrating and baking all this B roll technology together and build a seamless product experience on the actual uh, product, so that we can actually create a video with just one clip with the entire one. Um, and this is one use case that um, our, about our YouTube channel on HeyGen. We actually create the entire YouTube playlist and all the video, for both marketing and product, using our own product and HeyGen. You can see me, I'm being the brand ambassador here. I have my seven avatars showing up in different videos. What's amazing about it is that I no longer need to record a video and voice anymore. We can have the whole company doing that. You know, we actually create five videos a week covering different product updates, new feature release, and as well as marketing content. You know, this can really change the way how we create video today. Without the camera, with a simple UI click or API calls, we can generate a video at scale. So we have lots of use cases covering different verticals, you know, such as social media, marketing and sales, mainly for the external facing side, go to market sort of things. And internally, we have learning and development, training and educational videos. Um, yeah, so 
what it look like, uh, what it will look like for the future. You know, we have been all talking about, you know, ChatGPT, mid-journey stable chain, change a lot of things in content production and content creation. I don't think the video creation or for the ChatGPT moment for video is there yet. But we are seeing very, very promising thing and lots of potential are happening. Just imagine that, you know, everyone can use ChatGPT or mid-journey to create high quality of copywriting and script and as well as good images. At some point, we will get there for video as well. Probably we get there in the next one or two years, and Heijian's part of the company get, that walks towards that goal. So in the last session, I would like to demo a couple of more use cases, just showing case what is possible with generative video down the line. So this demo will be about personalized video and messaging. So let's look at the video first. Hey, A Plus Real Estate, this is Kelly Bishop. Hey, First Choice Realty LLC, this is Kelly Bishop, broker and owner. Hey, at home Montana Properties, this is Kelly Bishop, broker and owner of Rustic Elegance Montana. Hey, Jay Getz, this is Kelly Bishop, broker and owner of Rustic Elegance Montana Living. I hope you're doing well. So this is the use case that some of our clients are actually using the technology to create personalized video and messaging, especially for sales outreach and customer lifecycle management. So we can change the name of the customer or the product or service they are interested in. And then we can use the technology to generate the entire video at once with the CRM integration. So the next thing I would like to talk about is actually the talking photo. So you can see that all these three images are generated with the mid-journey. Let's play it first. La petite sirène de Pouf Souffle. Cela représente la loyauté, la patience et le travail acharné. Ich bin Rapunzel. Und in unserem Fall bedeutet Huflepuff, dass wir wissen, wie man Geduld und Ausdauer zeigt, um das perfekte Video zu erstellen. Minasan, konnichiwa. Watashi wa Shiraiki Hime, Raven Crow Ryo kara sanka shiteimasu. Hari. Alright, so with all this image generation technology, we can start to create lots of diverse you know, characters in the virtual world, and we can apply the video technology to give them the dynamic visual. We can also have the ChatGPT walking in the back, generating a script, and sort of like interact with human in real time, such as customer, customer services. And the last one is the one I feel most exciting about, is the multilingual dubbing. So this will be a video that I talk about the Heijian avatar technology, in Chinese. And it is a very casual one. I kind of do it right before I come into collision. But let's play it first. Today I'm going to talk about the Heijian Avatar Now and Avatar Light. Avatar Now, first, you don't need to do this fine tune. All right, so what's going to happen next? We will take this entire video and translate that into an English version. We will keep the original content the same keeping the emotion, voice tone, and speaking style the same. Let's look at it. Today I would like to talk to you about the difference between Hagen's Avatar Now and Avatar Light. Avatar Now does not need to do fine tune first. That is to say, we can get the result quickly and test it online. Avatar Light is equivalent to a version of fine tune. It needs to wait for a certain period of time, such as six hours or eight hours, for some tests. Generally speaking, these two are general purpose avatar models, and users can make some choices according to their demands, such as quality, such as... All right, how do you like it? Today I would like... Cool, I guess that's it. So, um, my name is Joshua. So we are really exciting about what will happen down the line for the generative video. And generative AI will be the new camera. So we are excited to meet more partners, customers, and we are based in LA. So let me know if you are interested in learning about more. Thank you very much.